Hello YouTube, this is Brian Ellis Tech Tips and I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Linux Mint 18 Mate 64-bit. So once it comes up, if you just let it run, it'll automatically start Linux Mint. If you hit the arrow keys, you can boot from the local hard drive. If you accidentally booted from the disk and didn't mean to, you can perform a memory test to check your RAM and make sure there's no problems. You can perform a full integrity check of the actual install medium. You can do an OEM install, which does not set up any users whatsoever. It just does a clean install of the system and has it set up to where whenever the user powers it on for the first time after they purchase the system or you give it to them, they can set up their user profiles and things along those lines. Then you have start in compatibility mode and start Linux Mint, which is what we're going to go to. Highlight that one, hit enter. Or click it either way. It's just nice they give you the functionality to have multiple ways to get to the means. Alright, and here is Linux Mint Mate. As you'll notice, it looks a lot like Cinnamon, but it is a bit different. For one, this right here, you don't have the favorite bar anymore. Now you have the sidebar. The start menu looks a lot more like Windows than it does Linux. So if you're a Windows fanatic and you have a hard time using cinnamon you might prefer to switch over to linux mint mate so we're going to double click on install linux mint and i'm going to show you the thing to do if either way for installing to set up the hard drive so click english and next or select your language and then click continue Make sure you select install third party software for graphics, Wi Fi, hardware, flash, MP3, and other media, and then click continue. Now, if you're going to just, if you're not planning on upgrading RAM, and the only thing that's going to be on the hard drive is this particular install of uh, Linux Mint, then you can select your race entire disk and install. Click install now. When you go to the next page, it'll just be click OK and continue for. Uh, the, to write to the disk and it'll automatically go ahead and start the install from there you'll go to selecting your time zone everything else and then do the install doing it this way you're going to select something else click continue there's the hard drive there's no partition table on it so we're going to click new partition click continue free space we're going to add and this is where you're going to want a calculator you have 3212 so if you're wanting to set up a root partition, you're going to want to save 4 gig because this thing has 4 gig in it to set up as the partition. So for the manual configuration, we're going to pull up the calculator. We're going to put in 32212 minus four zero nine eight hit enter it's gonna give you twenty eight one fourteen and then you're gonna set this as forward slash which is root click OK now this leftover that's four zero nine seven you're going to click on that free space you can double click or you can click the plus right here and with that 4098 minus that down to 97 drop it down oops wrong one use as swap area click OK and now it'll set that as a swap partition and then click install now Now it's going to give you the right changes to disk. Click continue. The 4096 is for 4 gig. In order to figure out how many gig, let's say you have 1 gig, multiply it by 1024. So it's going to be 1024 megabytes. If you have 2 gig, it'll be 2048 because you multiply 2 by 1024. So in order to get the megabytes rating of 4 gig, you multiply 1024 by 4 and you'll get 4096. That is 4 gig. Now you'll see that it says 4095 on there, but it'll actually be a 4 gig partition when this is all said and done. 
Now it wants to know the time zone on where I'm at. I am in the central time zone. So we're going to click continue. It usually is good about automatically detecting the keyboard. You can test it out right here. If that didn't work right, you can click detect keyboard, start typing, and it will detect what keyboard you have, and then you can go through from there. Once you have it selected, or if it's already correct, hit continue. Now it's going to point you to put in your name. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell it to encrypt the home folder. Now you can use login automatically. If no one else is going to use the system, no one's going to automatically get to the system. And you don't have stuff on there like banking information and stuff like that that somebody can easily steal if they got your system and just turned it on. If you are going to do banking and stuff like that, do not set it to login automatically and make sure your crap is encrypted. Click continue. Make sure you have all this filled out. Your password, you want to make sure you put in a strong password. Uh, don't put in anything simple like password because a simple password like that that's stupid easy to guess is just as bad as having no password at all. Alright, and at this point it's going to copy the files over, perform the install, and this may take anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour depending upon the system and the hardware in said system. I generally say 15 minutes to an hour as a default because that is normally what it will take anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour. I have had some systems with solid state drives that the install literally took anywhere between 5 to 8 minutes. So I will see you guys shortly. Alrighty, welcome back. Now once it's done you can click restart now. And of course it's going to give you the spill about removing the medium. Just hit enter. After you remove the USB drive or remove the uh, DVD drive, hit enter. If you're doing this on a virtual machine like I am, it'll automatically eject the media for you and you just hit enter when it's ready. And now she's going to go on ahead and boot. Now most of everything between uh, Linux Mint 18 Mate and Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon are pretty much the same. The only difference is the layout and the look. So once it boots, log in. And that's it. You are set up and ready to rock and roll. Like I said, this is a great version for people who are all too familiar with Windows that just are afraid of what it's going to be like switching over to Linux. This is something that was laid out a lot like Windows. Um, I would highly recommend the Cinnamon version rather than the Mate desktop, but it's all preference. Is there a whole lot of difference between them? No. Is there going to be a massive difference in the way it operates? No. So if you want to see how to move forward with configuration and everything else of this particular uh, desktop environment, go check out my video for how to set up and configure Linux Mint 18 for everyday use. This will show you how to install uh, a blacklist peer guardian to keep things from being able to hit your system. Um, set up the, the firewall and it will also show you how to... Uh, set up your antivirus and set up a lot of other applications including installing Chromium and also uh, applications or extensions that you should use in Firefox or Chromium either one Chromium is the Linux version of Google Chrome so that will help you get set up and going this information is out there for absolutely everybody as always watch like and share don't freak out because that video is made in sentiment. It will be exactly the same for mate. Have yourselves a great day.